bitch rising to all of my Alka gang out there. Oh, 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 oh. We see. Hold on now. Hold on now. Somebody trying to swoop in here way too goddamn quick. Hold on. We are not letting it happen. So, welcome back, guys. It is your girl Kia Amore back with another reading for my Aquarius gang gang. If you are not an Aquarius and you are a cross watcher or you're just, you know, another sign with Aquarius placements, this is the right place for you at the right time. I want you to all be mindful of what it is that is going to come out. Take what resonates and leave what does not for whoever the hell it does belong to because not everything is meant to be forced at this time. Past, present, and future. We discuss it all. I get straight to the point and I do cuss here sometimes. So if that is something that you are not interested in, please make an exit to the left because I do not want to offend anyone if you choose to stay then you have chosen well because we are getting ready to get into a deeper portion of life okay um right now aqua first of all let's talk about how time feels like it is going by super fast and for those of you that have had the opportunity to speak with me you all know that i put time in the category of illusion right so i'm like you know what do what you want when you want, how you want, sounds just like Aquarius, can't be told what to do. This is the time to have fun. This is also the time of introspection and reflection and detachment, okay? You guys have definitely detached yourself from a person here and before, right? But it, it does feel like right now, it's important to have people who are elevating you at a different level of frequency. So you guys are tapping strictly into business making sure that you are focused on the money on the bag and making sure that you are able to provide yourself with all the luxuries that it is that you truly desire many of you are looking to travel more often i think that's always going to be kind of in our cards because most of the aquarius i know including myself <laughs> we love to travel we love to continue going and there's this urge to want more of an exploration taking place in your life right like you're like okay cool i need to hit the gym right now random as fuck right like you were probably ready to lay it down eat some ice cream probably make a bowl of spaghetti something like that and all of a sudden you have this urge to do something else which is feeding your soul in a different direction so you guys are doing impulsive things i feel like and if you aren't you should in the sense of making sure that you're not causing yourself to sit so deeply in your mind there's a person here who you may have had dreams about, you may have thought, you know, been thinking about a person more lately um, than you would like or than you normally would. They're, that's because this person is trying to push themselves back into your aura. Now, at this time, there are multiple people looking to place themselves back into your space. They see you, they like what they see, they're still attracted to you, and it was just a lot of confusion with where they were before with this connection for many of you, right? So follow me. You were dealing with a person who was not only looking to be this player, this fucking I don't really care what it is type of person, but you were also dealing with a person who was very nervous and scared to hurt you in the process of making this something a lot more concrete. So while this person thought they were doing you a favor, they actually just fucked up the relationship, right? They weren't keeping in the bug. They were trying to make you look like a fool. But this person really does not like the space that you guys stand in. Someone here is really trying to creep their way back into your open arms in the sense of forgiving them. You know what I'm saying? You guys have instinct and loyalty. I think that's empowering right now. You are the wolf. You're a person who's walking through the woods heading to your destination taking on a different path and those that you run into this go time have to be loyal right you have to have some sense of understanding with these people and i feel like a lot of you are the lone rangers right i like to say the pink sheep some of you may say the black sheep but at the end of the day it's about you not being scared um of doing things alone and taking on this journey and adventure by yourself so someone here sees that you are not communicating with them just like you explain you wouldn't communicate with people that do you dirty right now they're on the other side of that fence okay this is a person who really sees that you are getting things done without them and they were expecting a different level of you needing them right they were like oh yeah aqua you know for whatever reason i don't know why they thought that because i'm just like a lot of you give me the energy of independence anyway doing what the hell you want to do whenever you want to do it is just going to be the case but i feel like if you really find a person that you are interested in you will allow this person to not only be in your space but take on part of the journey with you right it's like I'm going to make sure that I'm good for me, but if you are wanting to be good with me, then come on, hop on the ride. But as soon as you fuck up, I am going to have to push you off of this ride. Simple as that. Like every, every woman and man for themselves. You know what I'm saying? So 
you expect a different level of loyalty. I think that this person misses the interaction and conversation, just how you made them feel overall and in general. You made this person feel seen, heard, understood, and definitely boosted their ego in a way where it was like, you know what, I'm not really getting this from anybody else, but Aqua matches my fly. You know what I'm saying? Many of you are definitely fly, okay? Some of you may have flies in the home, flies around you often. These are lingering spirits. These are people... Um, these are things, right, that want to attach themselves to you. Again, when I mentioned someone was watching, if you have flies, if you just have, like, regular freaking flies around, and it's probably too cold for flies in certain places, this is a lingering spirit trying to figure out exactly what you have going on. Look, listening, secrecy, I don't make the shit up, okay? The frog, motherfucker, like, you want to be, you literally, and then told, like, ill you know what i'm saying i think all animals are beautiful in their own way but at the end of the day you dirty son of a gun you know what i'm saying someone definitely treated you as a second option and in many cases for some of you you're in a relationship with a person that you don't quite trust but there is this sense of commitment from this person okay some of you could be pregnant um finding out that you are pregnant some of you are definitely and and oddly enough with that pregnancy thing i think a lot of you thought that either you or yourself couldn't get pregnant or you couldn't get pregnant and the person that has the sperm couldn't produce like it was a lot of things going on in the sense of not being able to have babies right and i think that a lot of you are getting into this this situation where like you're finally in this and you're like oh shit i can amazing congratulations but i want someone to feel happy here with the commitment that they're in as a whole so many of you are in a situation with a person you just don't truly have the oomph for any any anymore right there's probably the sense of like the ick it's almost like you're moving in a direction that this person is still like not aware of right you try to turn them around push them in the right direction and for whatever reason they have no freaking you know what i'm saying like coordination they're just all over the fucking place so you don't really have time to worry about where the hell this person is going you just know that you want to feel good you want to be at peace you're seeking solitude there are friends who have messed up who have put you in odd positions to have to choose and it's like i shouldn't ha I, I i don't have to choose me against you it's always going to be me you know what i'm saying but if you decide you want to get it together then maybe we can have a conversation for many of you a conversation is not even in the air i think when you cut a person off you cut a person off for good and for many of you right now that is going to be a great decision to make because you're being clouded you know with the emotion and the thought of having to let go let me just say I've been seeing a lot a lot more but I do agree that breaking up with a friend is definitely a little worse than breaking up with your mans you know what I'm saying like it's it's or your girl or your partner you know what I mean um but it does hurt in the sense of having felt like you had a safer place right to kind of just vent and be that goofy silly person that you are and then all of a sudden I can't trust the person that I was going to with safe energy so you do have willpower and passion and we had we have adapt uh, adaptability and reactivity so getting into the gym focusing on your health focusing on your wealth all aligns and is linked together aqua it's time to get yourself back into shape somebody is definitely gaining their confidence back right um, you were in a really low almost depressive situation where you felt stuck some of you still feel stuck some of you feel like you know what okay again something has to happen I will say getting out walking drinking more water hydrating yourself is going to be super super important here the colors pink red orange and yellow signify something here for someone a black car driving past the house someone again is watching all right this is a person who is just trying to see whether or not you're still in the same house if you're still you know if you're kicking it if they possibly see someone you know with you on a regular basis like why is it that aqua's attention is not on me what the hell did i do honey you messed up they are really trying to figure out exactly what has your time enough. See, what they're what, what people don't realize is Aquas definitely care more than a lot of, of people in the sense of love, connections, and just like this willpower to see people grow, right? Um, Y'all ain't heard me say it in a minute, but that humanitarian life is starting to come out during this season because this is all about like survival of the fittest type shit for people. Come next season, come spring, Everybody wants to be in this position of growth, right? And that's typically what spring means. We're springing in to this position of growth. We're springing into having our businesses flourish. We're springing into being in that dream home, having that land, having, you know, a new bank account, having something residual. And so 
right now, love is also a part of that game. Like, if you can't love me, if you can't talk to me with some respect, if you can't put me out there and show me to the world, like, the trophy that I fucking am, the fucking glittery gold trophy trophy that I am, then it doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? Someone here is acknowledging your love and your efforts, and they understand what type of energy you actually come with. So that puts everybody in position to have to... um when when it comes to who you choose because you do have choices here aqua um we have cancer energy libra energy showing up i also have aquarius and scorpio okay it does not necessarily mean that those aren't the signs that are looking to of course attach themselves to you but i do have gemini and i have sagittarius in the mix as well so we talk about getting out of this space of loneliness, paranoia, isolation, um, withdrawal, antisocial, okay, paralyzed. Many of you want to get out and explore. Um, you know, going to a bar, going to the movies, hanging out with friends, maybe going to a club, having a drink or a tin, you know, is is something that's needed for Aqua. But I want you all to be mindful of how deep you put yourself into that position you can go out and have a good time and not get overwhelmed to the point where people take advantage of you now that is very specific but i will say hanging around a group of specific friends right now they're only wanting to grasp your attention on business they want to pick your brain here so that way they can take your ideas so it is best that many of you just keep quiet during this time it's not really necessary to you know over express or over exert yourself because people don't really want to listen they want to take 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 right so at work, you know, oh, we have consistency with a person here. We have consistency with a person who's like, you know what? I said I loved you and I meant that. And you may have taken it as a joke, Aqua, but this person truly meant it. Proposals coming through. I feel like many of you are getting ready to be proposed to. But many of you are also landing yourself in a position who is completely opposite than you, right? So whether that is um, culturally, you know what I'm saying, ethnicity, right? You could be black, this person could be white, this person could be Indian, could be Spanish, you know what I mean? Um, no matter what, this person is just definitely different than you there are some of you that i see there's one person we're not gonna harp too much on it but there's one person who comes into my videos and i do skim through all of you know most of the the comments and i just don't have time to comment to everybody but she comes on and she's like i don't want to talk to anybody but a spanish man and blah, blah 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 but i have all these issues I'm like, maybe it's because you're not supposed to be with the spanish man that you like right you have a type and this is just in correlation to all of you Someone here has a type. You go after a person based off of something that reminds you of something that you've had before because you're attracted to that thing. So instead of looking for the difference, right? Instead of looking for the, the, that, that one thing that stands out that doesn't remind you wholeheartedly of a person that you were with or the energy or just the look, you are going after something different or you're allowing something different to, again, approach you in a way where there's still respect there, there's still attraction, there's still this sense of connection, okay? Many of you have a type that you just aren't ready to let go, so you're running into very similar, um, you know, karmic ties because of what you are looking to be attached to instead of what are you instead of what you're allowing to be attached to you in the right moment okay so we do have spirit perception be mindful of those that are looking to come into your space for the good not everybody's coming to fuck up your world aqua and we can get into that space where we're like you know what i'm so irritated with how people have been i'm so annoyed with how people have just been talking treating me whatever so anybody that comes into my space right now gets the same energy at the end of the day no People wish they would have listened to you, okay? Beauty, completeness. Yeah, you're tapping into a different part of your sexiness. And, you know, some of you are just, uh, I mean, it's like, duh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Duh. Okay, yes, we have two options, a decision, okay? Whatever is painful to a person here... I'm not one to tell you to just let it go and act like the shit never happened. I feel like breakups, you know what I'm saying? When you truly were invested in being a genuine soul to someone else, it does hurt. You know, it does hurt to know that, you know, you expected a person to just know you better. A lot of you were you know, banking on receiving a person back, right? Because you're like, no, we're stronger than this. We're better than this. I know for a fact that we're supposed to be together. And this person, I think, is showing you otherwise, right? This person is showing you that they want something different than you at this time. So that, that it doesn't make sense to try to force somebody to be on the same level as you. It just doesn't. I had a bunch of cards just run out. And that to me symbolizes that there's someone running from their true emotion here as well um i think that you know 
many of you we know have lost a lot of people and someone here passing on has definitely put you in position to overthink just life in general but i do feel like when one life is lost another life is gained and at the end of the day it's about what you want this go around yes it's going to be hard to not have you know specific people around you to be able to vent to talk to touch feel kiss hug but they're always with you in spirit is what I'm is what I'm getting from this. You know what I mean? There is a resolution to a legal matter here. So something that happened to someone is being rectified. But I also feel like a lot of you are going through a very legal matter in the sense of um, possible, you know, like um, just attention to some type of court case. Right. You're winning something here. We have creative expression, Knight of Cups energy, romantic proposals, again, invitations following your heart. Some of you could be attending weddings here soon, but I also feel like you're given an opportunity to walk through a door that you've been waiting on for a really, 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 really long time. And so with that being said, there are going to be distractions. People who feel like, you know, oh, don't mess with that person. I already know them. I've already done business with them. Oh, don't do that because, and there is a possible delay on you moving forward because of other people's interactions. This is why I say do not speak on behalf of what it is that you are working on because not everybody is going to be happy for you. But when we talk about this person that's coming back into your life, I feel like for many of you, you and this person just have a really good chemistry when it comes down to putting your minds together for business and, and just getting creative together. I feel like creatively, you guys are very much so twin flames. You know what I'm saying? Business is amazing. You guys are able to really make sure that each person who has this 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 uh, position is doing what they need to do. But at the end of the day, it's still like Aqua is running the show. So there is something that is getting ready to happen in the next week for many of you. A conversation is getting ready to strike. Someone wants to see you here. Someone is pulling you in to say, hey, I wanna see you, I wanna talk to you, I miss you, and I don't like the space that we're in. We have Aries energy, Gemini energy surfacing through. Happy families, this person may have been in a commitment that they're just not happy in. They're just playing, you know what I'm saying? They're playing with this person's mind because this person promised them a different level of life and isn't producing it. When you were being authentic, you were like, you know, we're gonna have to go through all the hoops, we're gonna have to hit all the barricades, we're gonna have to go through all of these things and we will make it through while this person was given an opportunity to past all of that so they got with what felt like the easy route realizing that this was a lied upon route right like this person really just wanted to snatch them from you right this person seeing that you came with a different type of energy and you weren't fighting for it you weren't you know what i'm saying I'm going to lose any sleep over it. Once a person shows you who they are, believe them. So I do feel like there is a person that chooses to come around once you've put yourself in a different position. Once you've gotten to new heights, new levels, you know what I'm saying? If you And you've intertwined with yourself on a different capability of receiving, this person's like, oh shit, I've missed my damn train. How the fuck do I get back on that train, honey? crazy thing about it is the train is broken up into sections so you may be on the same train but you aren't on my part of the train and that is what makes it a different fucking portion of life babe because you got other things to do when you get off that doesn't mean that my stop is your stop that doesn't mean that my pickup is your pickup you are just able to see everything that i'm doing because you are tagging the fuck along you have friends maybe that are mutual um but i feel like Family is super important for someone here. So being able to really connect with those and maybe creating a new family through friendships is going to happen here. I think that a lot of you do meet a lot of your genuine friends and just people that will be considered to be like family through your workspace as well as, um, you know, just other things, right? Just people that you can vent to, talk to, and kick it with outside of work. Um, but this is, this is important for you all, right? You guys are stepping into making it happen and i appreciate the energy that i feel because it's kind of just like aqua we can be all over the place we all have moments where we love you and not that we don't love you anymore but we just don't want to be around you You know what i'm saying we just want to be able to have our own space and do what we want to do and not have to explain why we feel the way that we feel so people are taking things to heart but at the end of the day it is necessary for you to be very vocal with where you stand with the person someone treated you unfairly here someone took you for granted and someone you know definitely realizes again that you are a very unmatched energy so for this person to come back into your life it has to be very different this person has to have something to offer in the sense of you know gaining your trust back because there's just not a lot of trust here i feel like when you put a person in the homie in the homie corner and you start talking to them like you know what i'm saying what's good what's the deal what's the word 
they like that is not you come back to me and it's like no 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 they just lost the opportunity to have that version of you that was soft that was concrete that was really loving and understandable you boosted them and they leveled you down so at the end of the day you regain that focus you regain that confidence you put yourself back out there you get yourself back looking right and they fall out of this heartbreak with the three of swords in the reverse, right? This is a person who is releasing the pain, overcoming depression, optimism, and looking for your forgiveness. But in that sense, you are going through this level of prosperity. So while you are gaining all these things, financial new beginnings, new financial opportunities, new job, new business, money, investment, savings, prosperity, some stability, security, abundance, you meet a person for many of you, right? You are that person, but you meet a person who has all this. Some of you have very much so manifested the riches in life, right? We say rich rising, but you are manifesting the riches in life, a bigger home, okay? Just having a partner who is doing something. Maybe somebody is a lawyer here. Somebody is also into some type of dentistry. Maybe you need to go to the dentist. Someone has a cleaning. Um, but this is the time where you are um, really just getting your physical together so that way you're attracting the person that you are truly attracted to, right? It is about to change. People are going to have to show up. And we do, again, we have marriage coming up. So this is definitely happiness, family, marriage, long-term relationship. Um, again, abundance, domestic. And then again, many of you are having children and you don't even know it. You're finding out this very soon. So if you are pregnant or you find out that you're pregnant come back to this video and let me know because for whatever reason kids are surfacing like crazy those of you that may have lost a child um in the family i do feel like you know there is someone who could possibly be pregnant again so that is where this is coming from but i also feel like the burden that came along with losing this baby really set a low level of energy for not only you but the entire family so it is going to be amazing to have a bundle of joy you know your rainbow baby somebody that you can hold cuddle and um you know things just be right this time it is the ace of wands and inspiration new beginnings good news innovative um thoughts finding new passion and really getting creative somebody playing the game here it's a lot that's taking place um but i want you all to be focused on the prize here i want you all to maintain this new level of energy again you have the leading energy being that decision make a decision on what's going to make you happy make a decision on who you want to stay and who you want to leave because nobody's able to make that decision for you you are completely in control getting a new home is going to happen here the right home finding you at the right time the search has been delayed for way too long but the doors of a, you know of gravitating this new space this new beginning is definitely opening up for you someone wanting you to move in is here but someone also not wanting you to move out is here so i do feel like be mindful of your choices again you don't have to speak on everything but you do have to be aware with yourself as to what is going to be that new change in cause of a higher frequency i love you all I love you all. I don't want to tap too, 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 too much into everything because it has been a while since I've been on here. And I just have these moments of downloads where I'm just like, I missed them. It's been way longer than a few days. Let me just go ahead and spill everything out. But if you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that way you never miss a video. Okay, hit the bell above so that way you're notified when I do post a video. Um, and then also follow my vlog channel. It's going to be at the or no at Kia Cartel. It'll be in the description box below. It is my crazy ass Aquarius life as well. It's also a bunch of other things that I am looking to be in tune with you. Concerts, you know what I'm saying how to spiritually balance yourself we do a lot of stone shopping we have a lot of creative shop shit going on we just have a lot of growth and just amazing things that are getting ready to happen on that channel as far as boosting up a lot of you and also including you guys in a lot that's going to be taking place for this channel so if you want to gain more insight on how we're going to make this this whole thing pop uh, we have websites that are getting ready to of course um be open so you guys can of course buy these boxes it has been a delay on me getting out a couple of these boxes for a few of my subbies i have not forgot i just want to be able to get everything done at one time i've also been doing that on top of reading so i need to figure out a thing with this team of mine to figure out how i can really balance out the time because i started this by myself you know what i'm saying and just like many of you, I am one that feels like I can do it all by myself and I don't really want to ask for help until it's like, okay, Kia, like you have way too much in your hands. The shit's falling out. You need help. So now I have people picking shit up and like trying to help me, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I just want to be able to say that I can continue to make this grow. You guys are amazing on this channel and I know that we are going to be bigger than ever, you know what I'm saying? And that's just the community that I'm looking to build and the say in the, in the, 
sense of a, of a safe place as you guys see when you guys click this channel so make sure you guys tune in to both my channels you can follow both my instagrams and in my um link in my description box below as well i'm a very like personable person i do respond back you know it may take me a couple days but often i'm getting to people like right away because i'm doing this on a daily basis it's just my time is like really fucking taken up so if you would like a personal reading please visit me on my tarot channel. We have a tarot channel or tarot Instagram now at rich girl cartel. Why am I saying at rich girl cartel at rich girl tarot is what it is. It's going to be the same picture on here. The picture is going to be the same as um, I had a call coming through. Sorry, but the picture is going to be the same on the Instagram that it is on this channel. So I am taking personal readings. There's two rates to those readings. Um, if you are interested, hit me up, let me know. But if you're not ready to really get a reading, don't reach out to me because I am going to get straight to the point and it is a very therapeutic session with me. You have 30 minutes and you have an hour and that is what I'm giving as far as time right now. But I would love to be able to meet more of you and be able to give you guys the clarity, especially jumping into another year within the next two months. That's crazy. So I love you all and I'll see you guys in the next video. We out.